This is Harbour Watch. Harbour Watch has gone two, three, let's clear. And Harbour Watch in the colours of Canford Cliff. Harbour Watch go to the front, it's Hannah to Hughes again. The best bred son of acclamation to retire to stud. He's the half-brother to dual Group 1 winner Europa Point and out of a granddaughter of the great Fall Aspen. Probably the most exciting thing for me about Harbour Watch is the fact that he is the perfect physical specimen. He's got size and scope. He's a good 16, one and a half. The most amazing attitude, the most amazing walk. He was the time-form champion European two-year-old of 2011. We loved Harbour Watch from the time we, we saw him, uh, bought him at the sales. And horses by that sire, acclamation, are very good looking horses anyway. And he is about the nicest acclamation uh, we've ever bought. He was the winter favourite for the 2000 Guineas. We bought, we, we bought Harbour Watch as a stallion prospect um, just before he ran in the Richmond. Uh, we thought he'd win the Richmond easily and he did that with, with encountering trouble as well, which is something. Unbeaten as a two-year-old, he started life in a Class 2 maiden at Salisbury in a race which would produce four other future winners. Harbour Watch go to the front, it's Hannah and Hughes again for the second race running wins easily, Harbour Watch. Next was a quality conditions race at Newmarket. Well, the thing that for me stands out about Harbour Watch as a horse was his genuine will to win. It's asserting that staying on very strongly, going to be a quick double here for Ryan Moore. Harbour Watch has gone two, three, let's clear. Harbour Watch won it well, Belwars is home in second place, Haddad in third and Citizens Charge around to back. Then was the Group 2 Richmond Stakes at Goodwood, the race which would lead him to become the champion European two-year-old of 2011. I never rode a horse to actually stick his head out. You often see the photographs of him winning. You don't often see two-year-olds sticking their nose out. You know, he was like a... just really wanted to win. And you don't get that many horses. And Harbour Watch goes on for a bannock, then Casper Nature. And Harbour Watch in the colours of Camel Watch in the colours of Canford Cliffs overcame trouble in running to an impressive winner, the Tanqueray Richmond Stakes again. You know, he continued... He, he did grow from two to three. He, he had a lot of scope. Unfortunately, he didn't run at three. And because of his injury, you know, he would have had a very good chance in the Guineas. We, we, we loved the horse and he was working super. Now he's enjoying life at Tween Hills Farm and Stud in Gloucestershire. It's going to be a case of really how many mares we can take to him. He's going to be so popular. Uh, certainly the initial feedback we're getting, having retired him stud in the last 10 days, is that uh, he will undoubtedly be fully good. He's one of the best looking horses around. Um, we buy 100 yearlings a year at the sales and he's going to be massively on our list. Go and look at his stock because you know, they're very exciting and they're sure to make two rolls of which you know we want to we want to own some. He's handling the stud well, he's changed the scenery from racing now to, to, to the stud. Physically he's you know the move is very correct. Um, we've had we've had uh, lots of people look at him and they're you know the best you know we're going to have the best meals for him which is good. The finest attribute a stallion can pass on is the will to win. And you only have to watch Harbour Watch at a Glorious Goodwood and at Newmarket July meeting and see the way he stuck his neck out to know if this is a horse you want to be breeding to. Harbour Watch, standing at Tween Hills Farm and Stud.